all right so hello and welcome to the fifth part of this tutorial now in this tutorial we are going to take a look at line breaks and then paragraph indentation so without wasting time let's see how to do this so the first thing i'm going to talk to you about is the line break okay so i'm first going to continue this and tie some sentence mm, what should i even type uh yes and i have learned a lot in this tutorial so we have this as our text let me just compile and see what you are having all right so let me just copy this and then paste it sometime okay so let me see what you're having all right so you know that in latex if you press the enter and you even continue typing say i am just typing this is not going to have any effect it's not going to break the line or anything it just continues so you just you press the enter and it just moves to the new line but it doesn't really stop the line from or it doesn't terminate the line from going okay so in order to terminate the line from going there is a simple command that does that so the command is just using the backslash twice so this means that if i use the backslash twice from here i am just typing it is going to move to the next line all right and then start from the next line so let's compile it and see what we get so you can see that one is moving to the next line so that's what the double backslash does so instead of using the double line i can also choose to use a command called the new line all right so i'm just going to compile it and the effect should be the same right so as you can see here we have the same thing now the next thing i want to talk to you about is the new page command okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy all of this and paste it again so i'm going just going to paste that all right so this is what i'm having now assume you write a new paragraph so let me just introduce a new paragraph and then i'm going to paste the same thing again all right so let's assume that we have written these two paragraphs and then we want anything else that we write not to be on this page so to do that i'm first going to paste this one here i'm going to create a new paragraph so pa and i'm going to come down here and paste this again so let me see what i'm having all right so we have three paragraphs here and i want the last paragraph to move to the, the new page or the next page i don't want it to be on this particular page all i have to do is to include the command backslash new page right So backslash new page. So this command will carry anything below it to the next page. All right. So as you can see, we are having this paragraph in the next page. And then the next thing I want to talk to you about is horizontal and then vertical blank spaces. So I'm first going to, okay, let's just leave that. And I'm just going to copy this and then paste it right here again. see what i'm having so okay so this is what we are having so the first thing i want to talk to you about is the h space or the horizontal space just easier if i just demonstrate that so let's do that so to use the h space we have backslash and then h space and then here you type the length or the space that you want the horizontal space you want it to occupy right so let's say three centimeters so now i'm just going to okay let me paste that right here instead okay so let's compile and see what you're having okay so you can see from right here that we have a horizontal space right here right so that's what this thing is, is doing the each space create a space or a horizontal space within the unit you give to it all right and then the next thing i want to talk to you about is the h fill so what the h fill does is that it uses the amount of space up to the space available okay so let's see how this one works so i'm just going to type uh, this is and then i'm going to use the backslash h fill 
and then I'm going to type right side okay and then let's just compile and see what we are having okay so this is so it will fill the space or the horizontal space up to the last end okay so the amount of space it can take so that's what it, it, it usually does so if I include more text here so let me just say so if I include more text it will occupy occupy less all right let's compile this and see what you're having okay so as you can see the more text i put inside it, there is less and less to fill all right so this is what the h fill does and then likewise we have the vertical space or the v space and then the v fill so they are just the opposite of the horizontal space let's see how to do that so i'm going to copy this one right here no not that one this and then create a new paragraph and then paste it right there and then let's compile that and see what you're having okay so we have this let's see what the v space does so i want to make sure that this paragraph here separates itself from the previous paragraph within a unit okay so to do this i just have to use the v space so let's see how this is done i'll use v backslash v space and then and then you type in the unit so i can say uh let's say if four centimeters so let's compile and see what you're having okay so you can see there is four centimeters space between that paragraph or the first paragraph and then the paragraph we just use that command okay so that's what the vein space does and then the next thing i want us to look at is the vein fill so what the vein fill does is that it also occupies the space just like the h fill up to maximum available space so to prove this i'm also going to copy this one right here and then paste it here okay so i'm going to give that command here h fill so you can see there's a lot of space to the bottom right so we are in this paragraph right here the one we have just pasted here using the h fill is going to push that paragraph to the bottom okay right here and then leave that space between them so we are going to use backslash v fill okay so let's compile and see what we are having right so you can see that particular paragraph has moved to the bottom that v fill is filling all that space and then moving it to the last bottom okay so the next thing i want to talk to you about is paragraph indentation so let's clear all of this and then uh okay let's just clear all of this all right so we are left with only this so you can see the paragraph is having some kind of indent right here or it's, it's indented so you can control this type of indentation in latex depending on your needs okay so to do that you just have to use the command par indent so the recommended way is to set it in your preamble okay so to do this we use a backslash set length and then we pass the par indent and then what you do here is we put the unit that we want the indentation to be so let's say three centimeters right so all our indentations are going to have three three centimeters they are going to be three centimeters long so let's compile and see what you have and take a closer look at the indentation right here let me just zoom in then let's compile the program okay so as you can see the indentation here has really changed yes i can increase that let's say to five to have a feel of the effect all right so this is five centimeters so if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing and then smashing the like button right below the video and then also don't forget to share with friends and then comment as well thank you for watching